Hello yogis, welcome to Juliana's Art of Yoga. This is Juliana and here is Simba. Today's class is a tutorial on warriors. Warrior 1 and Warrior 2, Virvadrasana 1 and Virvadrasana 2. So get yourself ready and let's get going. Alright yogis, this class is standing up on your mat. We start with our feet the width of our shoulders, spreading all 10 toes from the big toe to the pinky toe to the center of your heel with a slight bend on the knee, a micro bend. And we begin to hug our bones with our muscles. And have a light grip right at the base of your spine, your perineum is called your gutla or mula bandha. Feel that your abdominal muscle is strong and engaged. And just take a slow, deep inhale. And let all that air out of the body. Relaxing your shoulders. And let's do that one more time. Inhale, all the way to the top. And exhale. Okay, separate your feet like four feet apart. So let's begin with a Virvadrasana to Warrior Two. We make sure that our feet are parallel to each other and they're like slightly pigeon. Not pigeon like this. Sometimes I see students doing this that will mess up your ankles and mess up your knees. So there's pinky to outer edge of the heel on both sides. Palms together by heart, and again we go with our root lock, Mula Bandha. Bending the right knee, we turn the right knee to the right, and we check on our stand that our feet are creating a long letter T. If we are too close, we take a chance of passing the ankle when we bend the knee, so make sure you are wide apart. Open your arms to the side, keep your shoulders down, spread out through your fingertips, take an inhale. And with the exhale, bend your right knee over your right ankle and look at your leg while you're doing that. I see a lot of this. We want to keep that knee right by the ankle. Then take a peek on your left foot and notice that you're not collapsing into your instep, but strike the outer edge of the foot like a knife on the ground and that lifts your instep and takes all kinds of stress off your knee. It activates the knee from the inside, the leg from the inside. So we rotate the shoulders back and down and we extend out the fingertips. There is a lot of energy flowing throughout the body. The spine is in line from your tail to the crown of your head, the nose with the navel. We do not lean forward like we are surfing. So the left arm pulls back towards the left wall and we are extending out with a steady gaze the drishti in one of your fingers you can turn your palms up and that gives you a different sensation in your shoulders and you can extend your arms back a little bit you can feel that opening all the way into your chest and into the center of your chest by your heart chakra and with your inhale take it up bring your palms together overhead and your prayer by the heart center Put your hands on the hips, bend the knee, and rotate the foot back to the front. Rotate the other foot to the other side, and we're going to repeat the pose on the left side. So a wide stand, letter T with your feet, and navel pulled in, root lock is engaged. Arms open, inhale. Bend your left knee over your left ankle, exhale, and look while that's happening, look at it. Then also notice that your left knee is moving towards the left, towards the pinky. This is a hip opener. And that might be a little hard to do, but just do your best. Check on your right foot, strike the outer edge of the foot on the ground so your instep is beautiful, a lifted arch. Keep the legs strong, externally rotating the thigh. Look at your left hand, steady gaze, turn your palms up. You feel your shoulders moving down. Extending your arms slightly back. Rechecking on that knee. 
taking a breath and feeling the power of the posture. Feel that warrior within yourselves. And with the inhale, reach back up, bring your palms together and into your heart, bend the knee and turn the foot to the front. Walk or hop your feet to the center of your mat and just shake it all out. Shake your legs, your arms, wiggle it all, a little bouncing. Okay, so now let's go into Virvadrasana 1, Warrior 1. We separate the feet again. And this time we're going to turn the body completely to the right and that also includes your back foot. The back foot turns 45 degrees. So one of the mistakes that I see often when I'm teaching in big classes is that the back foot stays open. I want you to see what that did to my hip. It opened up the hip. So if I continue to tell you, please rotate your hips to the front and I keep on forcing that, I feel that in my left knee. So the foot needs to turn 45 degrees. My hips are square to the front. The feet are hip width apart. And the front knee is right above the ankle. Notice how I continue to adjust my stand until I really feel the work. I can still challenge myself a little bit more, keeping my back heel on the earth. If there is tension in your Achilles tendon and your calf, your foot, your back heel might be a little bit off the ground. So just do your best. Your arms come slowly up by your ears, preventing any shrugging. I'd rather you bend your elbows and shrug. We pull the navel in. And another thing that I want you to watch for is uh, overarching your back, doing something like this. This is not healthy. The navel stays in. We get rid of that deep bend on the back while the spine is long and the gaze steady. Maybe you challenge a little bit more, checking that the knee is in place. Bring your palms together by heart center. And make the legs straight. Turn your body back to the front. Readjust your feet. And let's rotate the body all the way to the left. So another thing that I want you to watch for is the position of your feet in regards to your hips. Traditionally, warriors are taught with the feet, one foot in line with the heel. I find it extremely hard to balance with a stand like this, because our hips are like this. Our hips are not like this. So keeping the feet like this, it's just gonna make it much harder. So we want the feet, the width of the hips. So we keep that stand of mountain, the left foot steps to the front, and the right foot steps back. And we work on the width of that where you feel your challenge. The back toes are pointing towards the front of the right side of your mat. The left knee is right above your ankle not past the ankle and if it's too intense on your knee then you get closer and you just come a little bit higher up so i am looking for a challenge in here and grounding i hold on to my boot lock hips are facing towards the front foot and the arms come slowly up by my ears the navel is pulled in so my lower back is not vulnerable as there's no arching back is lengthening and reaching up with a strong back thigh striking the outer edge of the foot on the ground like we did in Virvadrasana 2 on our warrior 2. We breathe here. Steady gaze, very focused warrior. Feel the power inside of you, the determination, and with your inhale, come up, bring your prayer to the heart, and turn your foot back to the front. So let's walk these feet back into each other, or we'll take a hug and shake it all out. So it was as simple as that, yogis. Um, please let me know, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you feel any difference by positioning your feet a little bit different a little bit wider when you're doing your warriors follow me on facebook and instagram and subscribe
Thank you so much for this short time together. It's always a pleasure. Namaste. Thank you.